the NFL Network now coming up. We've got birthdays to celebrate, a look at local news, sports, financial news. We'll go in-depth with the weather, give you an idea what to expect. I'm Taylor Bishotti with NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. NFL Network insider Tom Pelissero reports that Josh Jacobs was seen boarding a plane out of Las Vegas Monday morning and will not report to training camp. The Raiders running back has told people close to him that he doesn't plan to return to the team anytime soon. The Raiders have signed cornerback Marcus Peters. NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport reports it's a one-year deal. Tom Pelissero also reports new Lions defensive back C.J. Gardner-Johnson was carted off the field at practice after suffering a non-contact knee injury. More news, Tom also reporting Bills running back Naeem Hines will miss the entire 2023 season after injuring his knee in a jet ski accident. And Ian and Tom report a couple of rookie quarterbacks agreeing to terms on their deals, both the Texans and C.J. Stroud, as well as the Colts and Anthony Richardson. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Staples has big savings on everything you need for back to school or stocking up the office. Save on signs, banners, and posters expertly printed by Staples Print and Marketing Services. Save on the latest tech and tech total support plans to keep your new or existing PC running right. Plus, save on all your back to school essentials from notebooks to markers. And right now at Staples, you can save even more with $10 off your in-store purchase of $50 or more. Get everything for the office and the classroom for less at Staples. N729. In-store only. Exclusions apply. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper? Just go to 4 slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to 4 slash joy. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Well, happy Tuesday to you, the 25th day of July, 2023. Gene Brister in the newsroom. newsroom. (laughs) I I need more coffee. Uh, Morning, Gene. Good morning. Okay. Uh, You know, we've all been hearing about artificial intelligence, right? Yes. AI going to take over the world. The end of mankind, right? Yes. Okay, well, artificial intelligence companies are agreeing to responsibly develop advanced technology. (laughs) President Biden said last week that the commitment from tech companies is real and concrete. However, I understand there is some resistance to AI. Yeah, this computer expert named Hal claims... This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. (sighs) Let's hear it for Hal, right? Yeah. Okay. No no kidding. Yes. Uh, This this is too important for you to mess it up for my checkbook. Yes. Okay. And let's see. Oh, looking back on this date in 1866, Ulysses S. Grant was named General of the United States Army. He was the first American officer to reach that rank. And to this day, we're still trying to figure out who it is that's buried in Grant's tomb, right? Yeah. (laughs) Okay, well, Grant's tomb in New York is not where Grant is buried. Not hardly. Yes. So, um, let's see. Uh, We'll give you an idea. Weather-wise, by the end of the week, we should see some cooling that's what I hear. But we're also liable to see some uh, thunderstorms. Hmm. Well, we're 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 going to talk more about that. The wind uh, is a possibility, and of course, that keeps uh, the rain away in this part of the country a lot of times. Sometimes it just keeps it uh, as far as the river, and it doesn't make it further. Hmm. So, and we'll let Yuma have it. Yes, we'll yeah. be uh, sharing. From the yes. goodness of our hearts. Okay. How about some birthdays? Are birthdays. you ready? Okay. Singer, guitarist, Bruce Woodley of The Seekers, 81. Drummer, Jim McCarty of The Yardbirds, 80. Verdine White plays bass for Earth, Wind & Fire, 72. Actor, Eliana Douglas, 62. Actor, Matt LeBlanc, 
56. Actor Wendy Raquel Robinson, 56. Actor D.B. Woodside, 54. Actor Miriam Shore is 52. Actor David Denman, 50. Actor J.R. Ferguson, 49. Actor James Lafferty, 38. Actor Chantel Van Santum is 38. Actor Michael Welch is 36. Actor Lindsay Godfrey, 35. Actor Manson Cook, 23. Actor Pierce Gagnon is 18. You ready for local birthdays? Local birthdays. Coming up. Yes. Stop by your local grocery outlet to participate in our annual Independence from Hunger Drive. This is a great way to support your local food organizations. So take part in our Give 5, Get 5 program. Donate $5 and get a $5 coupon for a future visit. Donations made in-store stay in your local community. Join us in our fight against hunger by visiting your local grocery outlet today. Going on now through the end of July. Grocery outlet, bargain market. We have happy birthday wishes going out today to Tyler Gill, Patty Beebe, Miguel Mungia, Diane Duarte, Elias Sanchez, Alfred Thompson, Joshua Guzman, Socorro Flores, Lily Costa, Bethany Keating, Maritza Valencia, David Gomez, Richard Duarte Jr., Christine Mitchell, Robert Cruz, Antonio Ibarra Gonzalez, Alfred Alvarez. Happy birthday from KXO. And we have our uh, dad joke du jour. Du jour, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, mm. Well, we give it a little bit of a French uh, flavor. Flair. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was uh, probably your relationship with France. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I actually did take French in high school. Uh -huh. Didn't learn anything. <clears throat> Can't remember any of the uh, expressions. Not, uh, you know, ferme la porte. Yeah. Yeah. Close the door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's amazing what you do remember. Four years of Latin have helped, though. Uh, okay. I made a pencil with two erasers. Mm -hmm. It was pointless. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You got to think about that one. I know. Yeah. So, Otherwise, it's pointless. Yes. And, uh, well... And the American College of Sports Medicine has named Arlington, Virginia, as number one when it comes to citizens' overall fitness. Hmm. Yeah, Oklahoma City came in last on that list. <laughs> Oklahoma, where the donuts come sweeping down the plane, right? Yeah. <laughs> so did you make that up? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you ready for news? Yeah, you got to be careful when you're talking uh, about those Okies because yeah. uh, they might come knocking on the door here. Not if there's donuts involved. <laughs> okay. Or uh, or okra. Yeah. Okra. Yeah. Fried. Yeah. It's the only way to eat it. Yeah, okay. It's time for a look at World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal Lock. Your year-round comfort specialist. Yes, news brief. Both UPS and union delivery drivers return to the bargaining table today to try to avert a strike next Tuesday. And it's not just your packages from UPS that would be affected. Noam Scheiber covers labor for the New York Times. Amazon now has its own, you know, big delivery network, but they still rely on, on UPS to do, you know, 10, 20 percent of it. So things could quickly snarl there. Holding up a deal, salary hikes. Never mind higher interest rates, Americans are feeling good about the economy. Consumer confidence shot up to the highest level in two years this month as inflationary pressures eased. The suffocating heat baking the U.S. and other parts of the world. An international group of scientists blames humans for burning fossil fuels. Lead author Mariam Zachariah. All you need to do is look at the facts. There is no other way to explain the signals other than with including the greenhouse gas emissions that we've been putting into the atmosphere. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. 
That's 76093 L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news. A driver may have his iPhone to thank for saving his life after he crashed 400 feet down a cliff near Southern California's Mount Wilson. The phone's crash detection feature alerting search and rescue crews to the man's whereabouts. Without the SOS service from <laughs> iPhone, I don't know when or if we would have ever found him. Cruz found the driver and hoisted him to safety. He was treated for head injuries. iPhone's credited with saving several lives in similar crashes around the state. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy indicating he may launch an impeachment investigation against President Biden, saying Republicans have evidence that Biden lied about his involvement in his son Hunter's business ventures. And it is, this is rising to the level of impeachment inquiry, which provides Congress the strongest power to get the rest of the knowledge and information needed. Appearing on Fox News, McCarthy discussed alleged payments made from Romanian and Chinese entities to Biden family members. The Republicans have produced evidence showing that Biden never received payments. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by La Care Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal for repair for replacement. Call the experts. La Care Conditioning. Have you ever noticed that when the afternoon light hits your floors, you can see everything, including dust? So much dust. And that floor dust gets kicked up into the air, compromising the quality of air you and your family breathe. Eesh. Swiffer Heavy Duty Sweeper is the fast and easy way to clean your floors with ultra-thick pads that trap and lock dust before it gets in the air. Just a couple minutes a day. And dust is gone. Swiffer Heavy Duty Sweeper. <sighs> Proud partner of the American Lung Association. If this were a Reese's TV ad, you'd be staring at a Reese's peanut butter cup. And sure, my voice is peanut buttery smooth, but still, you need to see the peanut butter cups, right? No? I can really just say Reese's and you'll go get some? Okay. Reese's. 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 Really working, actually. Reese's. Reese's. This, I'm on to something. Reese's. 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 And it's page one of the local news, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers, three locations to serve you. At El Centro Motors, in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 in Julia Drive, and at the Imperial Valley Mall. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Tuesday morning. Unemployment rate released recently. Carol Buckley has more on that story. The latest unemployment numbers are for June, and the numbers from the Labor Market Information Division of the Employment Development Department show June unemployment for Imperial County grew just a bit, up to 16.9%. That's up slightly from 16.3% released in May, and above the year-ago estimate of 13.8% percent. This compares to an unadjusted unemployment rate of 4.9 percent for California and 3.8 percent for the nation during the same period. The new numbers indicate there were 11,900 unemployed in Imperial County out of a labor force of 70,700 in June. Local news, uh, the 2023, listen carefully, Cattle Call Jamboree is coming up in November. The greater the uh, Chamber of Commerce for the greater Brawley area is getting uh, ready. They are currently accepting applications for event vendors, Cattle Call Parade entries, and sponsorship opportunities. Information is available at the Chamber website. It will all kick off with the Mega Mixer on November the 2nd. Chili Cook-Off and Rib uh, Contest will be November the 4th. Mariachi Night will be November the 8th. Cattle Call Parade and Chuck Wagon Breakfast will be on November the 11th. KXO News Time, 742. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers have the best price on name brand tires guaranteed. Now we're talking Michelin, Pirelli, Dunlap, Bridgestone, Continental, and more. See a Quick Lane Service Advisor and get the best price guaranteed. Remember, Quick Lane Services all makes and all models, and they're conveniently located in the Brawley Auto Center at the Imperial Valley Mall at Old Central Motors, and their new mobile service van comes to you with no added charge. 
Well, the County Board of Supervisors uh, will hold their weekly meeting today. Here's more on that story. The County Board will meet in the board chambers of the County Administration Building beginning at 10 a.m. Among the items on the agenda, the board will hear a presentation regarding the Imperial Valley 9-11 Memorial Event and Stair Climb presented by Robert Amparano of the Stair Climb Committee. The event held annually in September. The only other action item is a resolution adopting plans and specifications authorizing public bidding for Maggio Road and Rude Road Drainage Connection Storm Drainage Improvements. Well, the local Farm Bureau awarded scholarships to 44 students. They say $47,400 in scholarships went to students who are pursuing educations and careers in the ag industry. The local Farm Bureau administrators are, are administers uh, six different scholarship funds. This year, four uh, Matthew Labrucherie Memorial uh, Scholarships were awarded to current college students. Uh, three Raul Rodriguez Memorial uh, Scholarships were awarded. One went to a graduating senior and two to current uh, college students. To, uh, to, for Jack and Pauline McConnell Memorial Scholarship, it went to two college uh, students. Al Kalin Memorial Scholarships were awarded, one to a high school graduate and one to a current uh, college uh, student. And seven Jack Strobel Memorial Scholarships were awarded. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tyron Auto Centers. They have three locations right here in the Valley to serve you. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Tuning into the baseball game, monitoring the incoming storm, catching your favorite talk show. These are just a few of the reasons more than 80 million Americans depend on AM radio each month. And did you know AM radio is the backbone of the emergency alert system, keeping us safe in dangerous times? It's reliable, free, and public safety depends on it. Text AM to 52886 and tell Congress we need AM radio in cars. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. Page two of the local news served by K Sushi Bar and Grill in Imperial. Check out the daily lunch specials. And the dinner menu featuring 16 different entrees, K Sushi Bar and Grill, just off Highway 86 in Imperial. Mechanical problem uh, led to a, a tragic, uh, fatal uh, crash. Carol Buckley has more on this story. The U.S. Marine Corps recently released the cause of a crash that occurred near Glamis in June of 2022, the crash of a Marine Corps V-22 Osprey. According to the report, a mechanical problem said to be a hard clutch engagement caused the tilt rotor aircraft to lurch and damaged key components, ultimately leading to the crash in the desert. According to the investigation conducted by the 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing, there was nothing the Marines on board or the Marine maintenance team could have done to prevent that crash. In other local news this morning, police uh, responded to a burglary uh, alarm at 11.45 p.m. on Sunday. The alarm indicated there was a break-in at the business in the 600 block of Main Street in downtown El Centro. A search of the vehicle uh, of the building resulted in a 37-year-old woman being lo located in the store. She was arrested and booked into the Imperial County Jail on burglary charges. Scholarship awarded uh, recently, the Imperial Valley Vegetable Growers Association announced them. The purpose of these scholarships is to assist students who wish to launch or continue their studies uh, in agricultural related majors. They uh, are, are, there are only uh, two awarded to Imperial Valley students that attend a four year college who maintain a grade point average of 3.0 or above for students already in college 
or a grade point average of 3.3 or above for high school students. This year, they awarded 19 Imperial Valley Produce Scholarships, totaling over $20,000. Ten scholarships went to high school seniors, and nine went to college students. And finally, groundbreaking ceremony is uh, coming up for the extension of the Imperial Avenue. Carol Buckley has more. The groundbreaking ceremony will take place shortly. The ceremony to uh, begin the project to extend Imperial Avenue southbound from Interstate 8. The ceremony at 8 o'clock this morning. And uh, it will be the beginning of two phases to extend Imperial Avenue. The groundbreaking ceremony at Wake Avenue and South Imperial Avenue. The project will eventually extend Imperial to McCabe Road. We'll be back with a look at the weather. K Sushi Bar and Grill in Imperial is serving the best Japanese cuisine in the Imperial Valley. The menu is full of outstanding entrees. Yes, there's something for everyone at K Sushi, including for the kids. K Sushi offers you 50 different sushi rolls. They're named after our 50 states. And there's fresh sushi and sashimi, plus beer, wine, and sake. And oh, I forgot to mention, they also have teriyaki chicken or beef, rice and noodles. K Sushi Bar and Grill in Imperial. They're open daily from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. K Sushi also caters and welcomes big groups anytime. Call 760-355-4440. That's 355-4440 for your takeout. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. The National Weather Service says the subtropical high will continue to remain unseasonably strong over the desert southwest through the remainder of the week, allowing near record high temperatures to continue. An excessive heat warning and heat advisories continue across south central Arizona and the Imperial and Yuma Valleys through Thursday. There are indications that an area of low pressure will migrate northward out of Mexico this weekend, bringing an increased chance of showers and thunderstorms and cooler temperatures to our region. 113 the high yesterday, 89 the overnight low. Sunny and hot today with a high near 116. Southeast wind 5 to 15 miles an hour becoming west-northwest this afternoon. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 90. West wind 10 to 20 miles an hour gusting up to 25 miles an hour. Those winds become south-southeast after midnight. Wednesday will be sunny and hot with a high near 117. South, southeast wind 5 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. The winds then turning northwest later in the morning. 91 degrees downtown, 36% our relative humidity. Wind is out of the south, southeast right now at uh, 5 to 7 miles an hour. Local news, page two, served by K Sushi Bar and Grill in Imperial, specializing in sushi rolls, 50 different varieties of sushi rolls, one for every state. Reducing energy use during the summer is more important than ever. This summer, IID encourages you to do your part by setting your thermostat to 78 degrees or higher, avoiding the use of large appliances between 4 and 9 p.m., and turning off all unnecessary lighting. But there's more. IID provides a number of summer energy-saving opportunities to help you make the most of your energy savings efforts. Check out our tips and energy-saving guides at IID.com. Let's work together to stay cool and save energy this summer. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Major League Baseball. It was uh, Detroit. They dumped San Francisco 5-1. to one. Baltimore nipped Philadelphia 3-2. to two. Colorado over Washington 10-6. It was Kansas City outlasting Cleveland 5-3. Houston nipped Texas 10-9. Minnesota edged Seattle 4-3 in 10 innings. Milwaukee edged Cincinnati 3-2. 
It was St. Louis beating up on Arizona 10-6. Toronto topped the Dodgers 6-3 in 11 innings. And Pittsburgh beat uh, the Padres 8-4. Meanwhile, the uh, Braves have bolstered their bullpen. They acquired Pierce Johnson from the Rockies and left-hander Taylor Hearn from the Rangers. And it really didn't cost the Braves much of anything. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. Well, two more players have been suspended by the NFL, one for gambling-related violations. Denver Broncos defensive Andy Oma Uzawike was suspended indefinitely. Uzawike suspended at least one year for betting on NFL games in 2022. His indefinite suspension is not eligible for petition for reinstatement before July of next year. Meanwhile... Isaiah Wilson was suspended for the first three games of the 2023 regular season. The reason for the suspension not yet known. It's not Wilson's first suspension in the league. He was uh, suspended for violating club rules while with the Tennessee Titans after just one week after his uh, NFL debut. And uh, the uh, Vikings first round pick Jordan Addison told a state trooper he was driving his new Lamborghini 140 miles an hour because he was having a dog emergency at home. And uh, the Buffalo Bills kick off 2023 training camp tomorrow, but they'll do it without Naeem Hines, expected to miss the entire season after suffering a serious but non-life-threatening injury during a recent jet ski accident. That's it for Sports Time, brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. We mark every inch that our kids grow. Whoa, look how tall you're getting. (laughs) And watch them outgrow. Well, everything. This shirt is way too small. But there's something else that can grow that we don't see. It's what doctors call toxic stress. It's how a child's body responds to difficult experiences. From harsh language to a painful loss, there are steps parents can take to help. Learn four things you can do to overcome toxic stress at first5california.com. And it's a look. It's a look at financial news and a brief look at the weather. Brought to you by Southwest Security, also offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. General Motors reported its second quarter earnings surged 59% and the company raised its full year profit outlook. The company said its adjusted earnings reached 2.7 billion or $1.91 a share. That's up from the 1.7 billion it reported a year earlier. The company also said it now expects to earn between 9.3 billion to 10.7 billion for the full year significantly higher than its previous outlook of earnings between 8.4 and 9.9 billion. Meanwhile, Stellantis and Samsung SDI have announced plans for another EV battery plant joint venture to open in 2027, but the announcement could make it more difficult to avoid a strike at Stellantis existing U.S. plants this fall. The United Auto Workers Union is in the process of negotiations with Stellantis, which makes vehicles under the Jeep, Ram, Dodge, and Chrysler brands, as well as uh, negotiating with General Motors and Ford. The union has been vocal in its criticism of the slew of battery plants that have opened recently are in the works, which the union says will pay out pay about half of what senior UAW members at assembly plants are paid. Four major EV battery plants have opened in recent years. 19 more are planned with Monday's announcement, according to the UAW. 
And what's happening on Wall Street? We see green. The Dow currently up 17 and a half points at 35.428. The uh, S&P 500 up five at 45.59. NASDAQ up 45 and a half at 14.103. Gold off a buck 40 an ounce and oil up 54 cents per barrel. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hile in El Centro. It will be sunny and hot today with a high near 116. Southeast wind 5 to 15 miles an hour, becoming west-northwest this afternoon. Tonight, mostly clear, a low around 90. West wind 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusting up to 25 miles an hour. The wind becomes south-southeast after midnight. Tomorrow, sunny and hot with a high near 117. South, southeast wind 5 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. The winds become northwest later in the morning. And right now we have 92 degrees, 35% relative humidity. Wind out of the south, southeast 5 to 7 miles an hour. Financial news brought to you this morning by Southwest Security Services, offering 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hile in El Centro. Together, we stand up to cancer. On Saturday, August 19th, join Stand Up to Cancer. So just stand up with us. Tune in Saturday, August 19th at 8, 7 central on ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. For more ways to watch, visit StandUpToCancer.org. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro on AM 1230. KXO. CBS News brought to you by the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Steve Kathan. The oppressive heat dome is spreading into new territory, as we hear from CBS's Cammie McCormick. From Katy, Texas, where they're trying to conserve water with this heat. We're lacking water, and it's very, very hot. To South Carolina, where Debbie Winsell has shut down her food truck. She keeps the thermometer there, and sometimes it's 119 degrees. A new study claims it's about climate change and fossil fuels. Mark Hertzgard of Climate Now. It's not really rocket science. If you're going to overheat the planet, you're going to get hotter temperatures. This study finds these deadly hot spells in the U.S. and Southern Europe could not have occurred without it. Forecasters say Phoenix will top 110 today for the 26th day in a row. Overseas, it's been scorching hot in southern Europe, and in Greece, wildfires have sent tourists fleeing. CBS's Elaine Cobb says there's been a tragic twist in the firefighting effort. Locals and tourists watched in horror as a firefighting plane disappeared into a canyon before bursting into flames. This on the island of Avia, one of several Greek islands where wildfires are raging. A new heat wave today has sent temperatures soaring above 100 degrees and sent tourists and residents scrambling to leave. A correspondent Ramey and Asensio is in Ukraine reporting on a new wave of Russian attacks. Sirens blared over the capital city for more than three hours. This morning, though, thankfully, we did get confirmation that there were no injuries or casualties or damages to any buildings. Also, that all drones, an unknown number of them, but believed to be Iranian-made, were shot down. His campaign says Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was involved in a car accident while traveling today to Tennessee political events. He was not hurt. President Biden signs a proclamation today designating three spots in Illinois and Mississippi to honor Emmett Till and his mother. Till was the black teen tortured and killed in 1955. Brent Leggs, among those who lobbied for it, says he hopes it calls attention to similar sites that need preservation. It isn't for our nation to remain stuck in a painful past. It really is to challenge our nation to say that we can do better. 
A new round of labor talks today between UPS and the Teamsters Union with a possible strike looming early next week if there's no deal. But supply chain expert Jason Miller at Michigan State University says it makes sense for the company to avert that. UPS is a tremendous amount to lose right now. There has been some projections that if there were a prolonged strike, UPS could lose about 30% of its volume diverted to other players. And I do not believe that is a risk UPS's management wants to take. Right now on Wall Street, the Dow is ahead 12 points. The S&P is up five. This is CBS News. Find great hires fast with Indeed. Their end-to-end hiring solution makes it easy to attract, interview, and hire candidates all in the same place. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Attorney Joe Cordell. Divorce forces a father to focus on what's most important, his children. You may no longer be a husband, but you'll always be a dad. In the divorce process, this comes down to three key concerns physical custody, decision-making, as well as financial support. Each of these is important, and it's important that you choose a lawyer that cares as much about these issues as you do. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell and Cordell's Phoenix area attorneys, Joseph Cordell, licensed in Missouri and Illinois only. CordellCordell.com. If you're hiring, it can feel like trying to find a needle in a haystack. You can hope the right person comes along, or you can just use ZipRecruiter. Like Marco, president of operations at Telly Tires and Auto Centers. ZipRecruiter helps me find all the right people, even the most difficult jobs to fill. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Now try ZipRecruiter free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash F-R-E-E. Like your music, commercial free, it could cost you more. If you want to keep listening to your favorite songs on Spotify without the ads, you'll have to pay more. The price of premium subscriptions is going up by a dollar or two a month. What gives? Tech contributor Ian Sure. With all the subscription options, you would think that there would be such insane competition that prices would be going down. But the reality is that running these services is rather expensive. Expensive. Users get a one month grace period before the new prices go into effect. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Lottery players now have a shot at a Mega Millions jackpot worth an estimated $820 million. Days after someone hit a Powerball prize that topped a billion, the jackpot up for grabs tonight is the eighth largest in U.S. history. Steve Kathan, CBS News. <laughs> Imperial Valley Business Resource Center is a one-stop shop for business.